What's up everyone TechLoud here and in this video I'm going to revisit the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge screen and uh, I'm doing it uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all a commenter wrote a comment on my previous uh, S6 Edge uh, screen video and he wrote following. It raised actually a couple of uh, things more than a couple of things that uh, I'm going to discuss. I mentioned in the previous video that uh, this uh, variation in color or the white point does not actually bother me. As long as I'm getting inky blacks, I'm uh, pretty happy with the device and pretty happy with the display. I think you must have uh, missed this point and uh, straight away you just call me that uh, I like iPhone more. That's why I consider the colors or white point uh, better on the iPhone. That's not true. I like actually watching uh, Netflix on my Note 4 and the uh, S6 Edge more than iPhone. Reason being that uh, the shadows has uh, better blacks and still show as much detail as the iPhone or any other IPS LCD screen. Gone are the days when AMOLED screens used to have uh, crushed blacks and the detail in the shadow was uh, crushed. This is not the case anymore and the Note 4 and the S6 and S6 Edge are really awesome for watching the dark videos. If you watch the Rika Griffin video which I recommended during my video and she is also saying that she has a yellowish screen and her white point is actually even worse than mine. Mine is pretty good and I'm not complaining about that that's what I said in the video. I'm just mentioning because most of the S6 and H6 Edge that I have seen has uh, slightly warmer colors or warmer white point. Erica Griffin got the S6 Edge which is actually more warmer than what I have which also proves that there is a variation going on. Same is the case with Anantech review as well. They got uh, one unit for the S6 and they got one unit for S6 Edge and you can uh, find out uh, on their uh, website the review is available there and you can see even the S6 and S6 Edge units was not consistent and they were showing different white points. One unit was showing 6450 somewhere around that region and the other one was showing 6200 something and obviously the unit with showing with the lower number will appear warmer. So you can see once again there is a variation going on even with the two, two review units that they received. If you hate uh, iPhone 6 or 6 plus that much so let's compare the S6 Edge screen with the Note 4. My Note 4 is able to show better white point as compared to the S6 Edge as you can see in these uh, comparison photos. It is not uh, easy to show all these differences on the camera but you can uh, see that the Note 4 is uh, showing little bit uh, more pinkish on the sky as compared to the 6 Edge which is showing little bit more yellow. So let's compare the same photos that I have compared using the iPhone 6 Plus and the 6 Edge. You can clearly see the difference that the legs of uh, this lady is uh, yellowish on uh, S6 Edge whereas the Note 4 is showing the lightly pinkish or more uh, fleshy color. So tell me now what DisplayMate has to say about this one because they are saying that the S6 Edge is uh, similar to the Note 4 and both these displays are uh, number one. You can see the variation in the display very easily over here. All the screens has some variation during manufacturing because the manufacturer does not calibrate each and every screen. The manufacturing process will get very expensive if they have to calibrate each and every screen. They have to mass produce uh, these uh, screens so they always have slight variation here and there. But the MoLED screen has uh, slightly more variation than the LCD screens because they are more complex in nature and structure. So they usually tend to show little bit more variations. I literally went to 6 to 8 Samsung stores and I have compared my S6 Edge with uh, every other S6 or S6 Edge unit on the display. And I have found a zero device which has a cooler screen than my S6 Edge. I only found one unit which was equivalent to my unit in terms of white point but I am not able to find any device which was cooler than mine. So DisplayMate 
claiming that uh, the white point is 6500 they might be lucky because they got the phone which has uh, such a perfect white point if you already own a device then there is no point of uh, watching the comparison videos only to feel uh, good about your device all the comparison videos are made in a spirit that it will help the potential buyers if you have already bought the device then there is no point in watching the comparison video you will always feel disappointed because everybody has uh, different opinions about different things most probably you will find that the viewer has judged uh, something and uh, has reached a conclusion which is not uh, pleasant for you so you will not accept it and you feel that you have to write some uh, flame comments and uh, some emotional things in order to avoid all this it is better not to watch such videos if you have found me saying something good about the iphone in comparison to some other android phone then the reason might be that the iphone is giving the better experience if i say that the iphone 6 or 6 plus runs the games better or smoother then that's not a lie or that's not favoring any device that's just a reality you have to accept it and if i like a display of a certain device let's say iphone over the other because of the colors or the white point then that's my opinion and i have a right to keep my own opinion and uh, like certain device one over the other depending upon my taste not everybody has the same taste in this world no two persons are same this is why everybody has different opinions some might like one device some like might other some like some different taste some like some other taste that's why we have variety and that's why we have number of devices to choose from i really find it ridiculous when people start judging someone when someone present their opinions this was just a minor case but i have seen in the past uh, even bigger case where the commenters are writing all sorts of things without any level of respect from now on i will not able to accept anything like that i will delete all the offensive uh, comments from now on and also if the case is really extreme then i might uh, ban the user running a youtube channel does not mean that the reviewer does not have any level of respect i don't care about money i don't care about youtube or anything i'm just there to put out my opinions based on my experience that's what actually i like i have passion for technology for the cameras for the photography for the mobile phones so i review all these things i use them and i like to share my experiences so that other people who does not have hands-on experience with all such wide range of devices they get benefit out of it that's the only thing that i'm looking for i'm not looking for any money or uh, expand my viewership or anything or i'm not looking for fame i'm just here to put out some honest comments and i expect that uh, people at least can show some respect in return i don't want anything more so guys i hope that you have liked the video thanks for watching subscribe for more videos take care see you bye